Hello friends, welcome back to All and Unlaw. And this is a rapid revising per internal medicine. And today we are going to talk about the differences between upper GI bleed and lower GI bleed. And this is a very important topic for USMLE Step 2 CK examination and even for medical students. So guys, try to concentrate on this. Okay, so let me quickly start a discussion on this. So upper GI bleed and the lower GI bleed. Okay, let's classify like this. So now let's talk about what's the point that differentiate whether it's upper GI or the lower GI anatomically. Okay, so location. So location. Can you tell me where is the location? If the bleeding that occurs before or proximal to the ligament of ligament of treats. Okay? And if it's distal to this ligament of treats. What's the ligament of treats? Let me draw over here. This is the stomach, okay, and this is up the uh, duodenum, okay. Here it comes actually, okay. Not exactly I'm drawing. So this you can call it as a ligament of treats, and if it's proximal, then it's lower GI bleed, and it's distal to this, and then it's a distal lower GI bleed, upper GI bleed, lower GI bleed. Okay, guys, got it. Now what's the common causes? Common causes. If a patient presents with upper GI bleed, what are the common usually? So most important is the peptic ulcer disease. Remember, gastritis, ulcers, okay, varices, esophagitis. Hmm? So these are important causes for upper GI bleed. For a lower GI bleed, we have so many things like colon cancer, okay, inflammatory bowel disease, okay, hemorrhoids. Vascular ectasia, diverticulosis. Okay, guys. And clinically, how do you differentiate? If you examine the stool, okay, here in upper GI bleed, it will be tarry, black, that's a melina. Why black? Because it has to travel from the stomach or from the proximal to the ligament of treats till the rectum. That's why it becomes a black stool, okay? Whereas if it's a lower, then it's going to be bright red. Okay? That is known as a hematochesia, right? And what about what you call nasogastric tube aspiration, NGT? It will show a positive blood, right? Positive. You will see the blood in the tube you aspirate whereas you don't see any blood so these are the clinical and very important points that helps you to differentiate whether it's an upper GI bleed or what you call a lower GI bleed okay guys so thank you so much for watching this video and if you like the video please thumb up and please do share our videos with your friends thank you so much take care